Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a first drive video on this Porsche Cayenne Turbo. If you are new around here, you may not notice that I've started a new series where I'm going to be buying cars from childhood racing games. And this happens to be the first addition to the series. And you may be wondering, why have I bought a massive Lumbersome SUV as a first car when I could show you anything else? Uh, so I'm going to delve into that deeper as we get onto the video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. You now join me in the Porsche Cayenne Turbo for our first drive, finally! Um, so yeah, let's delve into why of all cars in a racing game did I buy a big SUV. So, well, I've never owned an SUV before, um, so I thought, well, I don't really intend to own one ever again after this. I'm more of an estate kind of guy, I love estates, not SUVs. But I thought, you know, SUVs, let's see what they're all about and see why everyone buys them. Um, so yeah, I bought a hot on the SUV sort of trend. I also wanted to experience like a luxury vehicle. Um, I haven't owned a luxury vehicle before and I think this does earn the title of a luxury vehicle, so to speak. And I've also never owned a Porsche. Um, and I know maybe you might be thinking, if you want to drive a Porsche, this isn't the purest form of driving one. But, you know, it's three in one really, so I'm more thought why not do it all at once and just buy a Porsche Cayenne Turbo? You get many things with it, which is kind of a no-brainer really, and it's all at the disposal of five to seven thousand pounds, uh, depending on mileage and condition. So yeah, Porsche Cayenne Turbo, here we are. Okay, let's do a quick pull and see what this car is all about. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the game a bit later as to why I bought this car and what, why it caught my eye. But right now, I was going to want to tell you guys what I'm kind of really feeling at the moment. Um, what I'm feeling on my bum is a really comfortable, supportive seat. Like they, they are like very, very comfortable, soft leather seats. Like you, you could be in your armchair at home. This is what it kind of feels like. Um, other impressions. I didn't realise how big these cars were until I actually got in one and then stood next to one. They're, they're very, very big. I thought that would just be, I guess, a mid-sized SUV, but this is a genuinely big, big SUV. But funny enough, I don't feel like I'm that big on the road. I just, it just feels big. And when I was setting up my GoPros to put you where you are, I hope I'm not too far away, um, I had to really reach and kind of like clumber onto like kind of the central reservation in this in my car to try and reach a uh, big tractor. Good thing I've got an SUV I can off-road now. Yes. But yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, I had to really reach to get you over there. Um, because it's it's a it's a wide interior, but it doesn't feel wide when I'm driving on the road, which is the really weird part. Let's see if we can do another pull here and see what happens. Got little buttons, our steering wheels. Oh, it sent me to refuel. Uh oh, we got buttons, our steering wheels. Nothing behind me. Let's floor it. I should have my window open, but that, that was 60 dealt with in very relative ease, and it was a very surge of waft and power. Other impressions um, I've got double glazing windows, I just found out earlier today. And if it wasn't for these wind deflectors making so much flappy noises, which I really don't like, you need to get rid of them really. 
Um, it would be a very serene, comfortable experience here. The ride is good. We are running on 22 inch wheels. Um, it does feel a little bit crashy. The bumps, you don't really feel them that much at all really. So ride comfort, I think would be excellent. If you're on 20 inch wheels and got one of these wind deflectors, it'd be a beautiful experience. God, that power is relentless. <laughs> it's so funny as well. Then you get that V8 noise as well. Excellent stuff, excellent. So let's just remind ourselves what we've got underneath the bonnet of this Porsche Cayenne Turbo. We've got a twin turboed 4.5 litre V8, puts out about 450 horsepower, and I'd like to say 600 newton meters of torque, something near enough there. So plenty full amount of power but it is quite heavy with this weighing just under 2.4 tons 2400 kilos um to be precise ish um but yeah it does you do yeah you do feel like you're in a heavy car and it does feel its weight but the, the performance of this car more than makes up for its very large size and it does kind of shock me how quick it is, considering its weight as well. Whilst we're doing some villagey sort of driving, um, I guess we'll talk about the game that I bought this car from, the idea. So it's, the game's called Project Gotham Racing 2. There's many um, uh, classes of cars, and then one of them is uh, sports utility vehicle series. So all the cars in that um, category are all sports utility vehicles of that era so we're talking about 2003 there wasn't many cars from that collection from what i can remember you think there was an evolver xc90 there was a uh, chevrolet ssr i think it was like a pickup thing there's a ford f-150 svt lightning i think it's called which is like a pickup as well uh, there was the mercedes ml55 which i guess was the first kind of proper quick SUV back then and there was the BMW X5 with the 4.8 litre V8 or 4.6 and then we had the daddy the 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 big the big the best of them all there's the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and that was head and heels above and beyond all of the other SUVs in that class but that kind of is the case with that car and that in that year in that time period that there wasn't anything around that time period which trumped this i think this was like the fastest suv you could buy i don't know if that's like 100 correct but if it, it must have if there was a faster one it must have been in that game surely um but surely yeah this was one of the fast suvs fastest suvs you could buy around that time period and when you pick this car against all the other SUVs in that game, this car just absolutely blitzed it in terms of performance. And I just have that distinctive memory of using this car and having so much fun with it in the racing game. And now I'm actually doing it for real on the road. It's, it's quite surreal really, because I put hours into that game and I was just, well, how old was I? Seven years old, maybe? And then fast forward, many years later I'm doing it for real it, it's, it's fantastic don't want to get all emotional it's not tears it's the rain but yeah I just find it quite incredible really like how there was the ML55 Mercedes and then you had the 4.6 litre V8 X5s which I'm guessing back in their heyday they were no slouch they were quick SUVs and just quick cars for their, for their, at the time and then the Porsche Cayenne Turbo just comes in and absolutely walks the park with uh, like a thump, I think uh, like an extra, it has like an extra 100 horsepower, an extra 100 foot pound of torque over those two SUVs, and it's just crazy, crazy figures. And even in today's like um, figures, that's still a lot of power for an SUV. I didn't even talk about his looks yet. Some people might think that it's quite controversial, but I, I genuinely like the looks of it. I've always been warm to it. There used to be one parked outside my house my old house i remember he used to walk past it to school every day and look at it and i was like oh that's very nice because i used to drive it in the um racing game 
and I actually went to speak to that lady um, a few weeks before I bought this just to get her a general opinion on uh, her kind of but she's owned it for 10 15 years or so and she's had a pretty much a trouble free experience and she wanted to upgrade to a newer kind turbo but she she loved this one so much well not this exact one but her one that she just couldn't get past selling it because it's that good of a car but anyway twisty roads while well, we're in second gear you use the buttons my steering wheel it's national <laughs> it's so funny. You hear that whine at the top and if you hear you get past 3000 RPM, the way it delivers its power, it's not a wallop in the belly, it's just a surge of power which is progressively gets more aggressive as you climb that RPM band. But it's nothing, and there's nothing going on down below to put 3000, nothing, nothing, nothing. You hit 3000, you go. I mean, it's quite, we go into like a uh, very twisty section at the moment, which I don't think I'd normally be caning around, but I've had a bit of experience with this car now, and it's given me, it's inspired confidence, because another thing which maybe you're not aware of, but these Cayennes are actually very good at handling. I mean, I'm literally giving it some around these corners, bearing in mind we are shoving 2.4 tonnes of weight around these corners, and it's doing it with relative ease, it's gripping and it. it doesn't feel like it's rolling that much. It feels heavy, don't get me wrong, but it, it actually feels good to handle. It's, it's very weird. It shouldn't be able to do this, but it's doing it with actual pleasure. Look at this, yeah, this is great. I suppose another thing we could um, talk about is actually the steering. I don't want to bore you too much, but my 160 has got electric steering um, and that is very light. And then when you get the Mercedes, you've got hydraulic steering and that feels quite heavy in comparison. And then when you jump back in the one series, it feels very light and you're like doing full lock in literally like two seconds. And then you jump in this, this is another level of heavy steering with this having hydraulic steering. Do a quick pull here. <laughs> oh wow, that was very quick. Oh, all this exciting driving made me forget what I was talking about now. But yeah, we'll talk about steering. This car is another level of heavy steering. This obviously has hydraulic steering as well, but this compares to the Mercedes, it feels like the difference between the Mercedes and the 160. Like this is a much heavier, but it doesn't feel bad. I, I, I genuinely like the heavy steering. It does just, just give me like a very tactile experience on the road. These are also meant to be very um, capable off-roaders as well. I've seen many videos on the internet of this car doing obscene things off-road. Maybe not with these um, 22 inch uh, rims, but put some proper kit on this and this thing will actually go off-road with relative ease and we've got our diff locks and our other off-road settings we've got our air suspension which I've got in the middle um, selection at the moment so it's riding um, SUV size should probably turn it down to the lower setting for the best sporty feeling but I haven't managed to do that yet and then we have like the driving position like I don't really know how to really explain it. It feels good, it does feel really good, but you do sit very, very high. I mean, I should expect that because it's an SUV, but I wasn't expecting it to be this high. And you can kind of just look down on all the peasants around you. It, it is a kind of nice feeling, I, I have to admit. Even coming from somebody who, has, who likes small, lower cars, I'm not really an SUV fan, but I do kind of understand why people like these sort of big vehicles. Um, it does give you that bit of sense of security. Absolutely rinse this t gun off the line. <laughs> Blimey this car is fast and it's absolutely fantastic. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, if there's anything you wanna see about this Porsche Cayenne Turbo, then please do 
comment down below anything you want to see in regards to this and I'll try and film it. Um, I'm not going to own this very long term so if you've got any ideas please do comment down below now so I can kind of act upon it. Also if you haven't subscribed already then please do, I'd much appreciate it as like 93% of my viewers aren't subscribed and if we could get that a bit, a bit lower that would be fantastic. But other than that, uh, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.